Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image here, back with another Sony Vegas Studio tutorial using Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. I'm just going to show you with this tutorial how to take your green screen footage. You've already shot a video, you can see with my clip here, there's me with the green screen in the background, and how to replace the background using the chroma key. So the first thing you do is once you have your, your footage into the timeline, is you would go and find the background that you want to use. So I have a folder here with some pictures. I'm going to just pick one at random. I've got one here of some, some bison, some wood buffalo. I'm going to select that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my video track. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit insert video track. So now it's put in another track. And I want to drag that down so it's below the original video track. You can see now it's in between the video track and the audio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my imported media where I imported that uh, photo of the wood bison and I'm going to drag it down onto this new track that I created. So what I need to do now is I need to expand that photo so it covers the whole video. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge of the photo, I'm going to click on the edge of it, I'm going to drag it right over and I'm going to drop it so it's right in parallel to the end of my video. So there's my background there. So now what I need to do is I need to apply the chroma key effect. So we go over to video effects tab up here in the left top left and you're going to want to find the chroma key which is right here and just click on it and drag it onto your video with the green screen. Now here you can see it's automatically come up as blue screen we don't want that so I'm going to click and go to green screen and now it's starting to look like a like a chroma keyed effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the color picker right here. And I'm going to go over to my video track and choose a general area that looks like the, the general look of the green screen. I'm just going to click in there. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to click over here. And it's going to add a... Um, it's going to add the... Uh, Take a, it's going to take a sample from that there and uh, so you can see it's kind of dialed in the green screen a little more. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to see this little box here, show mask only. We're going to click that box because we want to work with the mask. I'm going to temporarily go over here. I'm going to turn off the um, background picture for a moment. So I'm just going to hit the mute button on that. So now we're only working on our, our video track channel. And what we're going to do is we're going to, what we want to do is we want to make myself here and the foreground image as white as possible. So I'm going to come down to the middle slider, the high threshold, and I'm going to drag this over until it's like pure white so I don't see any, any uh, black marks or whatever. Now you can see what that's done is it's also lit up some of the black in the background. You want to keep the background black. So then we go back to the low threshold. And I move that over until everything's a solid black. You can see I, if I take it over here, you, it, it goes a little bit gray areas. If I pull it right over, everything's now solid black. And you can see we're reintroducing a little bit of black in the white there. So I'm just going to move up the white there till that's gone. You don't want to go too far on it. So now what I'm going to do is back off. There we go. We got a nice solid there. I backed off my black a bit. And always want to add a little bit of blur amount just to smooth out your edges. I find 0.12 or 0.18 usually works well. 0.12, you don't want to go too far with this because you want it to look natural. So let's go with 0.12. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to unclick the show mask only box. And you could see it's all black in the background. And if we wanted to leave it black, we could leave it at that for now. If that's what you wanted to do is just move your background, your background to black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to unmute the background channel there and now you can see that my photo is in the background now this photo I, what I probably should have done beforehand was crop this to the dimensions of the high def footage which would be 1920 by 1080 it's not cropped to that so that's why you're seeing the black bars on the side but basically there's our chroma key effect applied now you can see that the um, that the uh, video footage now has me in the front and it has the wood bison photo as the background. So you want to look through this a little bit, play it a little farther down, make sure that everything looks okay, that you're not um, 
getting any uh, ghosting or any bad effect. And once you're satisfied, it's okay. That is your chroma key applied, and you just go up to your project and make movie. So that's how to apply the chroma key effect to your chroma key footage. Hope that uh, helps those of you trying to do chroma key. And stay tuned to Art of the Image, and we'll be back soon with some more Sony Vegas tutorials. Thanks.